I know a lot of people listening might be like, yeah, yeah, it all sounds great, but I literally have no time. That's probably one of the biggest excuses. Like my life is so busy. I'm overwhelmed. I have no time to do all this stuff. So what do you say to people who are in that camp? Sure. I think that uh, people will be surprised at how much time that they actually have um, because when you start to actually look at your time, it's really important. That's another exercise in the book is to track your time for a few days or even a week to see where you're spending time on things that aren't bringing value to your life. You know, because we all have to work, right? We, it's, and we're not saying quit your job and like, you know, go hike across America. We're saying that look for all of the time that you're using for things that maybe are just comforts, maybe are just things that are just kind of passing the time because you're used to it. It's a hobby, et cetera, and replace those things and see what happens. Do it even just for a few days. And it's remarkable what people will come back and tell us, be like, oh my God, I, I, you know, again, there's nothing wrong with like watching Netflix, but what happens is if you scroll looking for something to watch on Netflix for hours every single day, that's not very productive, right? That's not very intentional. That's just kind of a waste. And if you replace some of those types of activities with, you know, oh, I went and learned how to play pickleball, or I went and tried a new hike in my area that I didn't, ever, I never knew about, or I, I formed a group of people. Like my wife randomly met in our neighborhood a group of ukulele players. My wife has a ukulele. And I was like, <laughs> they, they get together every Saturday. It's like, there's so many random things around us that can be new and interesting and fun. But if you start finding those little bits of time, those will turn into bigger bits of time because then you'll start to see, okay, I, I just needed to actually take control of my time a little better. Yeah. And we all obviously have different circumstances, and so it's hard. And and I can tell you that I, Bridget and I both, again, this is part of why I think we're we're um, we have some authority to talk about this. Is we both worked a lot. You know, I had two jobs most of my life, um, and she worked a ton in corporate America. And uh, it's you still can do this and find ways to to get that value. Yeah, usually like the time thing is, you know, people say I work all the time and I have kids. It's like, okay, like everybody works, right? Unless you're like independently wealthy, which good for you. <laughs> yeah. um, and you know, a lot of people have kids, right? But the the thing, I mean, and Joe can talk more about this because he has two small children. But, um, you know, the thing is, is you got to have those experiences with the kids. You can't use them as an excuse. Yeah. The kids bring experiences and, and constantly I've, I'm always looking for things like the easy ways to explain her. You know, we try to make homemade pizza instead of buy pizza. It's something they remember, they enjoy. It's fun. It costs like $2. It's like super, super easy. You just have to you know, plan it. You know, we do like scavenger hunts in the park. They cost nothing. It's like a piece of paper and a pen and some 20 minutes of planning or, but doing those kinds of like little activities are joyous. They're memorable. The kids love it. You know, we love it, but there's tons and tons and tons of examples like that, I think. Um, but the, and the money thing, and this is, again, this, this goes to the time for like the bucket list, just like the bucket list question that people always seem to ask, right? Are big, big ticket things important in, in money and time? Yeah, they are, right? If you can, if you have a dream to go to Italy and, you know, drive across Tuscany, start planning it, figure out what it's going to cost, take the steps. It takes a long time. Do it. You know, it'll, if even it takes you two years, whatever, you, some people will figure that out and make it happen. But while you're waiting to do that, there's a lot of things that you can do where you're at now. So mm -hmm. don't let money or time be an excuse. Use the time and money you have now to do things now, because the time that you are spending, the overall time is non-refundable, right? That's the thing that's really non-refundable. Like if you look up and said, well, I was waiting till I had the money and eight years went by, it's like you didn't do anything that you wanted to do. You didn't like figure out how to squeeze in any of those little nuggets, but that's just really not taking the time to be intentional enough to figure out what you can do.